All right, YouTube, today we're going to play some Death Shadow here. Uh, this is the list that I wrote about over at uh, Top Deck. I'm uh, just going to jump into a game here, get a couple leagues in tonight. And that will be great. Let me just get everything set up here. Let's jump over here. Competitive Modern League. So there's likely 74 of the 75 I'll play at SCG Philly next weekend. I might cut a Serum Visions for a Thought Scour, but like that's kind of medium. Um, oh, I see there's a chat message. My chat was booted up. How's it supposed to? I like three Snapcasters. I think that once you add Mistress Bobble and Faithless Looting into the deck, the Snapcaster may just get a little worse. So, you know, you don't want to flood on them. You don't have a bunch of Ambush Vipers. Sometimes they turn into Ambush Vipers. You know, that's not what you're looking for, in my opinion. Yeah, the only... I, I might change, like, uh, Serum Visions for a Stubborn Denot, for a Thought Scour, maybe... Um, but I think that's kind of it. I'm pretty happy with all that's going on right here. I think it's important. I think the graveyard hate's important. I think that, uh, I'm pretty sure that Dredge is going to get an uptick. I think that new one drop is pretty good. They're going to be good for the deck. About 42 seconds to fire for magic, uh, modern match. That takes a little while. It's longer than it normally takes, excuse me. <clears throat> My audio is good. Yep. Looks like everything is working out. I can't believe this is taking so long to load up here. Oh, here we go. Alright, I would like to play first. Sweet. And yeah, I'm gonna mulligan. I can do, I can do better than this, and this is just land and spells. All right, this hand's not much better, but I think on the scry, on six I'll keep it, and we'll put that on top because it's just a uh, another way to enable both Gurmag Angler and Death Shadow. I think it's Colonnade. Okay. A lot of celestial colonnades. All right, the second angler is kind of rough. I'm likely going to bolt my opponent here. Yeah, that search is rough. This is all. This is all tough right now. I could bolt myself. Um. Likely should have, but now at least I can get a Gurmag Angler in play that's likely just going to get Path to Exile, but... This is a rough way to start out the uh, the stream. Blue-white on a mulligan, an already poor matchup. I hate how my... Twitch chat isn't showing up in my Twitch in my Twitch uh, in my dashboard unless I pop it out. It's annoying. All right. This is probably gonna get bounced by Jace. Then I'm gonna throw up. That's probably what's gonna happen. Wow, MTG bots going. Holy shnikes. Must be a slow night for MTG bot. Detention sphere. If I dismember and draw a fetch land, I can play another one. How am I winning? It's probably doing that. Like, this kind of feels gross. So this is. Six, five, six, 
Yeah, I don't, I don't really know how else I'm... I'm going to hope to put another Gourmet Angler in play. I'm not winning any other way here. Maybe they'll click yes. If only it wasn't a May, that would be sweet. Never lucky. I'm going to play that land out so that the next land we get, no matter what it is, lets us cast Angler. And that was like a very desperation type move, but like we're so far behind that I think it's kind of what we got to do. Ring to Halo, name Death Shadow. Um, I might just battle rage this Death Shadow now. I think I am going to battle rage my Shadow. We're just like kind of hoping our opponent doesn't have anything. Like there's not really a good way to do this. I love you too, Rafi. <clears throat> this game's over pretty much, but we're gonna give it we're gonna give it the college try. Wrath God, take one more draw step. Uh, I guess I'll keep playing. Like maybe there's a world where I can do some stuff and some things. I don't know. Okay, we're, what are they going to do with it? I'm such a glutton for punishment. Bear on Fate Seal, which makes sense. I believe so, Tarmogoof. Alright, we're good. We need to maximize the amount of magic. I'm still playing magic, Rafi. Alright, let's let us sideboard. That is of my opinion, but now we're going to board up until a million four drops. So we're going to go like this. Bring in dis cut dismembers, cut battle rage, cut a street wraith, and cut some lightning bolts, and that's how we're going to do it. It's like I have a plan. Holy shnikes. And like, yes, we are boarding up the curve, but it's going to help with our opponent's path to exiles. I don't know what to tell you, Rafi. All right, here. It's actually a pretty good hand. I would like to not draw another land, though. Not drawing another land would be very helpful. Double click. Well, we're going to take this path. These clicks are annoying. Makes me kind of want to leave in some lightning bolts, but that seems kind of loose. So this is going to get blood crypt. We are going to serum visions. And we are in the market for this. Oh, we already played a land. So this is one of the, this is the kind of hand that we can win here. As long as my opponent is at like path to exile right here. Is that a freaking Bane Slayer Angel? Holy shit. Can I kill my opponent before they Bane Slayer me? Yeah, I can. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a click. Then unless they main phase Vendillion click me, then I can deal with this Bane Slayer Angel. But we're just going to take a click. Holy shit. There's actually, yeah, we're going to take this click. 
Kraken. I don't really want to Faithless Looting as I like all my cards. The Bane Slayer Angel. Like, holy shit. My tea water is almost ready, so I'll have to take a quick pause here in a second. So if my opponent flashes and click like on my draw step, I'm just going to flash the Snapcaster Mage in in response and target the Thoughtseize. Because even if they take my Death Shadow here, I am okay with it. Because this, this we just can never in a million years beat a Baneslayer Angel. And I, I mistapped. I should have left up black red just in case, I think. Wow. Okay. So let's. They took my stubborn denial. That seems weird. So they're all in on this Jace plan. All right, I have to go get my tea ready, so I will be right back. What kind of tea would you like? Yep. Is there a box for that one or do you have to look in? Oh, a new box, okay. All right. Okay, so we're going to take this Jace and then we're going to ship in with our um we're gonna ship in with our death shadow and we're just gonna pray my opponent misses for one draw step that's the plan they're gonna block so there's no need giving the information away at least I think they're gonna block Holy shit, they didn't block. All right, well, we missed out on some damage there, chat. They don't have any idea what the last card is. I didn't play my land to give away the information, but, like, because both my Death Shadows were lethal next turn. All right. I cannot believe they didn't block there. All right, we're going to think about it, and then we're going to submit. And that's the plan.
Alright, we'll keep his hand. It doesn't have a threat, but it's pretty good besides that. And my favorite thing to do to people that um, Mulligan is thought sees them. What'd they do? Oh, geez. Um. What did they do? They put a card on the bottom. So we do the bobble trick, lead off with an Inquisition. We're basically not looking for any, we're, we're getting rid of anything that's not a threat. Yeah, we don't need this. We're going to save this Street Wraith for next turn with in conjunction with our Serum Visions. What is this? Oh. Opting in response to my fetch land. That's odd. Like, you're playing around stub, but, like, why wouldn't you just opt main phase if it matters that much to you? All right. Timely reinforcements, Vendillion click, cryptic command, wrath of God. I think I'm going to take care of this Vendillion click. Then I'm likely going to ditch the timely reinforcements as well, and then try to get under this cryptic in this, um... Wrath of God. Or I can dig to like a last hope. Okay. So this is going to get Blood Crypt. And a little Serum Vision. Alright, we don't need either of these. I guess now that I have the EE, I don't even really need to take the um, the timely. I kind of just want to take this Jace. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Jace because we can just trade with this timely reinforcements. Okay, so they hit a land. How lucky! All right, so we're gonna go to nine. Get steam vents. And we're just looking for a threat at this point. We don't even really need a stubborn denial because we've got this Colgon's command. All right, put on the bottom, put on top. Cycle into the big boy. Okay. So they're set to go with their cryptic command. I'll go pop out my graveyard at this point. You're going to field me now. All right, looting's not bad. Cast this before combat. Might find a way to grow Death Shadow. Okay. So I don't really want this Inquisition because my EE can just trade for this. So I don't think we want this, and I don't think I want the land. I am going to cycle. I can fetch a basic if I need to. We're kind of like in the super dead to top colonnade range. Let's try this now. Bounce draw. Okay. Um, so they have a wrath of God. Three. We're going to. Okay, so we didn't hit that. That's okay. We can play this for turn. Play Death Shadow. My opponent likely Wraths. We then make them discard a card, rebuy Death Shadow, play Death Shadow on our turn. The Camp Wrath. Oh gosh. Hey, Archmage, how you doing? So here's like the million dollar question. Hey, 
is do I just K command them, make them discard a card here, or do I wait until they deal with the shadow? The struggle. Yeah, I think we're just going to let this go. This K command is going to return this death shadow after they wrath us. Not bad. Oh, no, cancel. So just play this for zero. Blow it up. I'm going to play my land here because this I'm likely going to need like all of my mana in order to win this game. I should have just fetched the tap land there to put them to two, do two one more damage to them. Oh god, that's disgusting. Yep. So let's just hope to god they don't follow up. At least now I can loot on on our turn. Maybe get something. That was gross. They kind of did, right? Like, they don't really have a lot. I mean, if they have a follow-up here, that's really bad. Okay, so they, we know they have a spell left. So we can just loot and then play Gurmag Angler and then set up Colgon's Command plus Gurmag Angler. I think that's what we're going to do. We might loot into a Stubborn Denial also. Which is pretty good either way. By tapping the way that I did, I guess there's no way to tap to leave me up double and mana and... Uh, Build black mana and blue. Looks like they drew a cryptic command. As it appears, that's wow. Alright, so we're going to ditch this and the Gurmag Angler. Play Death Shadow. And hopefully they wrath this. And then we just command them, make them discard, play two. We haven't even a Snapcaster yet. They went bottom bottom, which is pretty sweet. Pretty good for the home team. Detention Sphere. Okay. So they have Dispel as their last card, I think. That's what my gut tells me. They have Dispel, Colonnade. Oh, okay, so now we're like one, two, three, four. Now we're dead. Yeah. That I mean, I guess it was only a matter of time before they drew a colonnade. I'm not sure if I could have played the game slower with my mana base to give me a chance against this colonnade. Because it's also land, yep. I mean, I guess I go... Uh, return... Return Gurmag Angler. Yeah, I guess we'll just return this Angler, make them discard. And then just bluff the uh, bluff the push. Hopefully they don't go for it for some reason. I guess I could have also just like by not Colagon's commanding and giving them the option, that probably would have been better. Like, maybe just letting this thing get Wrath would have been a better play. They're, they're going to go for it. Yep. They got it.
son of a gun. Yeah. It's not like, so that's why maybe I should have left them with the Wrath of God in their hand and just played a Death Shadow in order to hope that they at least, um, to hope that they at least are, well, I don't know, really know what happened there, to make them think they have an option to give us another draw step. I can't, Squaw Chief. I've been looking for your stream. I haven't seen you in a little while there, sir. I've been looking around. At least without the regularity you were. Peter. God, if my opponent gives me a creature to dismember on turn one, this could get violent. That's probably, I mean, that's what I do. Is my opponent double queuing? That's nice. That is sweet. Thought Scour. Probably not in the market for a Thought Scour. Oh, good for you, man. I'm going to leave this in case I draw uh, whatever it is. Serum Visions. Okay. Bedlam Reveler. So this is like a Bedlam Reveler Bolt deck. So I'm just going to take one of these Lightning Bolts to hopefully kind of slow them down a little bit. I think that's the plan. I need to find like a Stubborn Denial, like ASAP. Gurmag Angler does a pretty good Stubborn Denial impression for a little bit at least. I'm going to be fetching an Island on our turn. Though they might just bolt me. Dental? Are you a dentist? That's sweet. Inquisition. So what is this? Is like a Mardu deck with a little more burn in it? All right. Dude, you got to get the steak. It is all about the steak. I know, he's like, I'm a dental, I got a dental job and a steak, what more could you ask for? So it doesn't matter what they take here, I get to play a threat next turn. And I still have to cycle my Street Wraith to do it, which is a little scary against what my opponent has going on. But we, we can fetch a basic now. One, two, three, one, two, three, four... Four, five, six, okay. So let's get a basic. Let's serum visions. I don't believe I want either of these. I'm looking just for stubborn denials and death shadows at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna hold this um, street wraith for a little while. It's very likely that I was actually supposed to get a swamp there when I when I did when I got the uh, um it's likely I should have gotten a street wraith or I should have been a swamp when I got this island. So what is it, a pyromancer? Or they're just helixing me, what are they doing? What is the plan? I love Gurm. This is why Gurmag Angler is your best threat against fair decks, because it's just so much harder to kill. Like, it's going to take two cards. Okay. So... 
I probably need to like bring back Terminate, yeah. I probably have got to like Thought Seize, take a Lightning Bolt. So Fetch Shock 5, 7 puts me to 7, and they have Bolt and Helix in hand. Yeah, I don't think I can really do that. I am just going to pay to dismember this. They draw a land that can kill my Gurmag Angler, which is not good, but I don't really see what else is my option here. Because, like, that just put me way too low in life total to not have a lot of, um, to just not have very much going on for the board. Like, if I had a backup threat, I would be more aggressive, but... That is not the case. So this is going to get me black-red here. So they're going to helix me. Yeah. You got it, dude. Probably never casting this street race, to be honest. Or never cycling this thing. One, two, three. So I am going to fire this off. Because I would like to get this Lightning Helix out of my opponent's hand. That Lingering Soul is not good. But we're going to get this out of there. I really do not want to cycle these uh, Street Wraiths. I don't think I'm going to until I have to. Yes, it costs two more mana as well. Looks like my opponent's bricking. All right, snap is pretty decent. So snap, snapcaster might just be like an ambush viper. Yeah, I think we're just gonna sit tight here. Though I guess at this point, there's no difference between two and four. Or four and six. What are they going to do to me? Right? So I should have thought about this beforehand because if the, my top card here is Battle Rage, I'm going to feel I'm gonna feel silly. I feel like it's so low that we do actually snap this member, but it might they might find a way to get this Bedlam Red Line. line. They've got one, two, three, four. This is five. So they draw a land that can Revler, I guess. Which is what they're setting up for. But now that if they Bedlam Reveler, okay, no follow up. Yeah. We put in our ambush viper. And that's why the that's why we only play three in this deck. Like, I genuinely think that we dell very hard. And this with the bobbles, the snapcaster is just not as great. So against a Mardu Pyromancer like this deck, this card, these, and my bombs. I don't really like my spot removal. Um, and I probably can cut Street Wraith if they've got Lightning Helixes, Lightning Bolts, and yeah, I think we're going to get rid of the Street Wraith. Because they look like they're super aggressive. It's a lot of threes to be boarding up this high. I feel like I kind of want some of my burn, some of my counter magic against a burn heavy version here. <clears throat> yep, we're going to keep this. It's a good hand. Got a little bit of everything. Looking for a removal spell here. This is a hand that a, you know, something or something that can work with a pyromancer. 
Might as well keep that because that might get us an angler in play. This hand's a little weak to a pyromancer, but besides that, black, white, no, red, black. Here's a pyromancer. All right. We got one way to kill this thing coming right up. All right, K Command will do it. It's a little slow, but two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we will get nasty. <clears throat> and we can kind of get away with um, these tokens that get out of hand if we find Battle Rage. Wow, we got nothing from our opponent here. That's so good for the home team. I think we're just going to hold this Stubborn Denial and play this Spell Bomb. They're bolting me. You got it. We'll take it. God, undercook is how it's supposed to be. I think I'm actually going to look for a land. Because if I do find a land, it is really good. Okay, so there's the land. So we're going to put this on the bottom, put this on top, and then cast the discard spell we found. We're going to get rid of this Crackling Doom. <coughs> oh, it's just barely undercut. Opponent's in a little bit of trouble here. The fact that they had to bolt me in order to do that is pretty solid. So my opponent gets a flashback Lingering Souls if I go like Bing Bing, which isn't great. But it's kind of my best play, unless I just want to attack, play, spell bomb. I think we just got to take the two for one here. Like we'll, we'll deal with this. They're gonna get to cast back. They're gonna get to cast their lingering souls. Oh, that sucks. Need a new grill, dental man. So we're gonna helix me. They ditch their Lingering Souls. We get in there. And then next turn, I'm going to play Death Shadow and Spell Bomb and probably crack it. Yes, I should have. You're right, Squad Chief. I just needed more gas. The last turn, my opponent just bolted me to make a token. Okay, so they have a bolt also in their hand, which is, ooh, that was not bad. So we'll cast this EE, -E, wipe the board. Probably just let them cast their lightning bolt. One, two, three. Because at this point, we probably can overpower the Bedlam Reveler, especially if I get Death Shadow into play. And they bolt me like it's quite a bit of stress because like they kind of have to bolt me <clears throat> that ee was these so i have to bolt like my creatures out there doing here well now they're dead one two three four this is gone all right, so here comes the Bedlam Reveler. But you have to chump with it, which I'm definitely popping this Spell Bomb on their turn. Basically, regardless, whatever this is. Yeah. 
Extra pay. Nice. All right, let's see what they're drawing. So they have to block Shadow. They're drawing an Inquisition, which is kind of annoying. Our hand's pretty good, but... Again, I sequence this poorly. I guess I couldn't hit land and uh, team or battle rage. Yes. I don't really think there's any reason to shock myself here, so let's put this into play tapped. There we go. Blood pressure's gonna kill me, dude. I love steak so much. My wife's a vegetarian. If my wife wasn't a vegetarian, I would eat way more steak. And one day, Archmage, you'll have a real job. And then you'll know you'll know what it's like. There we go. I'm gonna go refill my tea water. Here we go. Hopefully we can rattle off these last three. Yeah, we got a solid hand here. A little bit of everything. Got a bolt. Got a couple discard spells, a big boy. Against Marsh Flat. So we're playing against Abzan? No, we're playing against Mardu again. This hand's pretty good against Mardu. Because <coughs> redundant. Gonna stay for breakfast and fell asleep. That's when you know you are living it right there. When you get some good a good steak for breakfast, that's a solid one for them to not know about. So we're gonna fetch here. Gonna just fill the graveyard, get the damage on. Moto's losing it. Okay. I kind of want to take this Faithless looting because they're not really doing anything, but I could just take this Fatal Push and then, like, figure it out later. Like, take the best, whatever they have left that's good off of their Faithless looting here and then play my Shadow. <clears throat> I think we're, this is going to be a Battle Rage game. We yeah, woke up. So dental work, is that like, what, 9 to 5, or is, are those longer days? Because I have some friends that are dentists that tend to take a little bit longer. Uh, that, where that takes longer, I guess. So Colgon's Command, this and this are gone. This Bedlam Revelers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we got to get to Thought Season here. Okay. Well, the good news is... Is that there's definitely a chance we kill our opponent next turn. One, two, three, four, five. So they're gonna have to tap out at least. So we're gonna hope that they miss here. We don't bolt this. Play your reveler. Yeah, and then we're shocking and attacking because we bolt ourselves. Battle rage is lethal. This is a fetch land to get, right? Yeah, it does. So let's go get Watery Grave.
This is just how we drew it up. <clears throat> Turn three. This one, Thoughtseize, Thoughtseize, three you. This deck is sweet. He's working at the office. So it's nine to five. So against the more traditional Mardu deck, I do like to keep in some street wraiths. And I like to cut like another one of the one of these. And then just cut some more spot removal. Though I could buy just cutting all these and leaving in like one a miser's lightning bolt. But we have dismember, K command, many, many discard spells, so. All right, so I'm going to keep this hand because I don't want a mulligan against the discard deck. Because <clears throat> they're going to take the best card anyways. It's like if they take my Inquisition and they take my Serum Vision, I'm not really worried about it. So we're looking for lands. All right, so we will put this on top, put this on top, and then pass. So I'll probably take Battle Rage, honestly. I don't know it takes Snapcaster Mage. Maybe they have like an Engineer of Explosives. We just need a spell in order to play our Gurmag Angler. Though, yeah, that probably takes Gurmag Angler. It's not bad. That gets us closer. I take Lightning Bolt. So we're about to blow this game wide open if we had a fetch land next turn. Like, we're just going to send it to the moon here. Ugh. I guess we're going to hold that for now. There's no reason to play it. It's not like <clears throat> it changes on any of our plays and it's information our opponent doesn't need. All right. So that means we're going to get one in play here. So I guess we'll just take this fatal push. And then there's no need to be... Oh, that was stupid to play there for the same reason I was talking about. There's no need to be, like, really excited with this Lightning Bolt in their hand. Like, if we draw a Fetch Land, we just play all three. Yes, that is a very good-looking Swamp. Fetch Land, there we go. Game is over. My opponent just engineered explosives me and we just die. Moto's tweaking out. They just concede. Yeah, they just scooped it up. All right, we'll take it. That's four games over Mardu. Four games in a row. I'm going to say hi to my wife and my dog before the next match. I'll be right back. Uh. So how's everybody in the chat doing tonight? Y'all should follow here because I'm getting close to a thousand followers. 
get to a thousand followers, I can do more stuff, apply for different things, which is going to be sweet. I really don't like hands like this. I don't have a discard spell or a threat, so I'm just going to ship this. All right, this hand's not much better. I'm pretty loose with my sevens. I'm pretty, I mean, pretty conservative with my sevens. Pretty, we'll just take basically any six cards, I think. But y'all should hit the follow button here. I'm going to be branching out a little more. Like, I'm probably done testing modern for a little while. I'm going to play some standard for our team event in Philadelphia next week. I'm thinking about, I'm going to play Death Shadow. My other teammate's going to play probably Red Black in some way, shape, or form. This is a tough matchup to Mulligan. Um, and I think my other friend's going to play either Storm or Sneak and Show. Bodad. I love some Bowmat Courier action. Am I going to be able to play? I don't think I'm actually going to be able to get Gurmag Angler into play, which kind of sucks. Bobble. 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 So anyway, I flipped that guy. This is cute. So one, two, five, but we're down a mana. So I have to hit a Wraith or a Bobble after this Thought Scour. I wonder if I'm supposed to, there's merit, I think, to looking to ambush Viper this Bowmat. Because, like, this Bowmat is going to do some dirty things. All right, well, that looting is going to help out a little bit, but. I don't really know what this is going to do against the Bowmat Courier deck, but it's probably worth keeping. I'm going to ditch the Snapcaster and the uh, land. I would have ditched the Fetch Land if I had a Death Shadow, but. I do not. And I can easily get the shadow going on here between the this Bowmat and the Thought the Thought Seas. These bobbles are kind of a cool way to, to use this Bowmat. And at least we have this stub to, in case something really weird goes on. I don't really know what's going to go on here. Mutagenic growth. So this is like a Death Shadows Zoo deck. This has got to be what this is. This has got to be something like a Death Shadow Zoo. We'll take, yeah, so that's what we're playing. Let's get rid of this, this, this. We can get rid of both Snapcaster Mages and probably Inquisition. Bowmat Courier is cool. It's very cool in this style of deck. I'm just a big, I'm a big Bowdad fan. So don't pop these, right? You're just looking to draw three cards, play a land, draw three cards. <clears throat> Probably hit like something gross, like a Death Shadow. That's kind of tiny. But my Courier is such a really cool card. Like, it just it's like it's a card that deals so much does so much in a game while looking like it does so little. And then you lose and you think to yourself like, 
why did I lose this game? And it's like you lost the game to the Bomac Courier that sat on the board for three turns, you know? Okay, there's another Bodad. So I'm just going to eat this, the big Bodad. Block. We're really looking for another threat here. Something that can enable me to start attacking with my Gurmag Angler. Even if it's just a fatal push. Like, I would take a fatal push in order to hit an opposing Death Shadow from my opponent. Because they can refuel up here really big. Yeah. So this Blood Tank Mine is gone. Actually, all their cards I need to lose on. Okay. Wow, still nothing from them. All right, let's cycle this. All right, so we're going to see what we drew. Put this to five. My opponent's going to have six cards in their hand. Lightning Bolt, Mutagenic Growth. So let's take the Bolt. Play this tapped. And then I think I'm actually just going to crack in. Keep putting the damage on my opponent, or the pressure on my opponent. There's not a lot that we're going to beat next turn, I would assume. Because they're going to draw like a lot of cards here. They're going to go, I guess they're only drawing four, only drawing three, so they'll go up to five cards. Multiple things you might have to counter, which is going to be tough. Fetching in this deck is a nightmare. Like, at least the, all the Jun Shadow decks, they all were just black fetch lands, black duels, and it was actually kind of easy to, to, to navigate that mana base. Navigating this mana base is just awful. They just failed to find. Okay, that'll do it too. That's kind of good for us. I mean, Mutagenic Growth is still a pretty big game, but because it's free. The old Phyrexian mana. <clears throat> All right, you got it. No growth plus rage. Well, let the growth resolve if my opponent goes for it here. Blossoming defense. Yeah, we're going to let this resolve, because if they pay too light for the mutagenic growth, then they're dead on the crackback. So we're just going to hope that they don't have another one. They don't have another one or a death shadow, or like a step length to follow up here. Nope, they didn't have it. Scooping it up. Well, we, uh, that, we couldn't have cast that, because we were at three. All right, nice. All right, so against this deck, I have no idea how to sideboard against this deck because it's got like Death Shadows, but it's also got like Wild Nacodles and Step Links. So I think I want, so all my little removal, I think I want to get rid of these Street Rates. I kind of want Stubs in order to deal with the combo, but I don't know how many I want. 
I could bring in bombs to help against the combo, but that all seems kind of loose. Even though some of these decks play Hooting Mandrills, but I'm gonna wait. If they if they show me Hootie, then I'll I'll bring this in. But I think for now it's a bit loose to do that. Hope everyone's having a good night here. We're playing for playing. This is likely the deck that I'm gonna play at SCG Philly for my team. I think I'm gonna mulligan my hand. It's just too slow. If I hit a land, but I can't even play a Gurmag on two. Alright, we'll keep this hand. And we'll put that on the bottom. This hand's much better. We need like Thought Seize, something. Um, then get Gurmag Angler on turn two. Swiss Spear, okay. Uh, I should have fetched a basic. I should have given myself the opportunity to fetch a basic there. Because their draw isn't going to kill us here. So what is this? This is one. This is four. I kind of want to just take this mutagenic growth because it leaves these death shadows in their hand. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Because they can go fetch shock to 14. And that might just buy us another turn to at least get set up here. Which looks like what we're going to get here. Yep. Decent. That's a good draw. Okay, so we're getting rid of this, and I think we're getting rid of our Serum Visions. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and then we're just going to delve it all and play Gurmag Angler. And at least Gurmag will be able to hold them off, and I should be able to take care of the two Death Shadows, hopefully. Or at least a Death Shadow and a Swift Spear. So here come both of their shadows. And we're going to be able to bolt one, which is nice. Pretty good for the home team. Providing their last card's not like a street wraith here. But I'm just gonna look to trade with some of these. Hope they don't have a way to pump this. But besides this boss from defense. A mutagenic growth here would be so bad. Okay, well at least we get to trade. That's a that's a big win. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's four. Oh, so if this is a team or battle rage, I'm still alive. If this is a become immense, I'm dead. I'm dead to exactly become immense. If I don't block and they don't have become immense, I'm in pretty good shape. If they have become immense, I'm dead. How many become immense do they play? Probably not a lot of sideboard. I guess I just block because then we still trade and they have nothing. I get they I push this and it's serum visions versus this. It's like serum visions. Okay, so they just said street race. Alright. Not bad. What are they doing on my draw step? Are they surge wing me? 
Yeah, they're K commanding or surgical enemy. What is this? Push this. And I don't know if I I don't know how many bolts if if any of this deck plays. They probably don't have a lot of removal. And it'll be a random draw off the street raid, so it's not like something they set up. So I think it's good to just get the homeboy in play. Alright, so let's go get Steam Vents, Cast Serum Visions. I don't know if this angler is better than a random draw. I probably want it on top in case something goes wrong. And we're not going to attack because they're going to have to chump because of this Blood Mire next turn. This could go poorly, but... So what 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 is this what is this pause in my draw step? I don't understand this. Like they just have a bad stop on? Are they like thinking about K commanding me? Or are they like they did K command me, they're just doing their main phase, get this shadow into play, and then at least this body's up with mine. Not nah, I'm gonna pretend that's a weird stop. I don't think K command makes means makes any sense. What do you got, man? Yeah, I just didn't have anything. All right. Playing for the 4-1, four, the, four the comeback. I appreciate where I've shown up and hanging out tonight. I, I would super, super appreciate it if you guys hit the follow button. My name's Dylan Hovey. I'm part of the Carnivore Network. If you guys can get me up to 1,000 followers, then it'll start to open up some new things. I can stream new decks, try new things. If you guys want to support me more, Excuse me. Click on my YouTube page. It's linked below. Uh, that'll take you to uh, my YouTube channel. I appreciate that. Uh, if you want to interact with me about Magic, check me out on Twitter. And Gamer Craze, which is their store, is linked below. That's where I learned to play Magic. They have a great uh, buy and sell system that's competitive. So you guys should check them out if you need any uh, paper symbols. So here we go. We're back here. MTG bot is on it tonight. You don't always say that. Yeah, this hand's this hand's just really explosive. So like we we'll probably end up looting on one in order to get our shadow into play or to get something to play two shadows on two. Shiv and Reeves. We're playing in Storm. This is a solid matchup. Hands not great against Storm, but it's not very many cards from being really good. Now it's pretty now it's pretty good. So this is gonna go get Blood Crypt. We need a removal spell. That's what we're looking for here. Team of Battle Rage is not a removal spell. There's a very legitimate chance that we do not we just die. Like if they just play a bear here, thank God. I probably should ditch my Battle Rage because now I'm going to run this Gurmag Angler face first into a Remand or an Unsubstantiate. Then I can't get my other Death Shadows in play. That was likely loose. Maybe they don't have Remand? Oh, that seems weird. What could they have? Unsubstantiate? Like, what do you. Man of Warfels, okay. Mana Warfels into Unsubstantiate? Okay. So we could still get get wrecked here. Like, they could just ritual, ritual, ritual kill us. 
Like I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure they have draws that win them the game from here. They have a way to make blue mana. Yeah, this is this is what happens. We're just dead. Let me make sure they do the piles right. It's like Manamorphose, Ritual, Ritual, Pass and Flames is what you get here. Yeah. And there's like no way around it. Yep, because then they get like knocked. Even if we get put Pass and Flames in the bin, they just loop into what they need. All right, so we want this, this, and this. And I'm going to cut some of my removal because they board out some of their bears. Things are going well. We're, we're playing for the 4-1 here. Down a game against Storm. Um, probably can get rid of one angler. We have more interaction, more good cards here. We're down. We're we're down a game. My 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 bit leader. So we have two bolts still in the deck. Engineered explosives. Four denials. I kind of want a little. I guess I don't need that much removal if I'm on the draw. On the play, I mean, I might need more removal on the play. But I find like discard spell and counter spells are what you need. And they're likely to board out some bears anyways. And in a pinch, we can EE for something, like if the game gets weird. It's a solid matchup, but Storm's a powerful enough deck where they can just power through what you're doing. Like we just we're gonna get turn we just got turn three. Did turn three a Mardu Pyromancer player tonight, which has been decent. Good for the home team. Ah, oh, Mardu. Experience Mardu Pyromancer. It's I think either I think poor. I think both are poor. Both are only like only sort of okay. Um this hand's pretty medium, but it's got a counter spell. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. It's a, it's a quick clock. It's got a counter spell and a removal spell on the Snapcaster Mage. I am going to cycle on one to find a discard spell, though. I think both are pretty poor against KCI. Like, just probably not enough. But another well, land wouldn't even be that bad because it's like Snapcaster Mage. That's pretty good. I mean, we kind of have double empty insurance. I'm going to stub a cantrip here on turn one. Yeah, I think that's like. I know that's what they were doing. I really love aggressively stubbing cantrips. When I, especially when I don't have Ferocious. Like, you gotta turn it into something. And this is my opportunity to do that. Alright, there's our boy. And again, we're gonna play... We're going to leave the bolt up so we can bolt either a bear or ourselves. Okay, so here comes a bear. And how's it going, Nameless? It's great we get a card out of them. And we get to play Angler. Oh, yeah. You, you wrecked me today. I believe. You kept in your bolts after sideboard in the mirror, if I remember right. So let's not get threed. We got him next turn. Like we'll just rattle we'll battle rage the angler. Okay. So now they got a block. Hey man, I do it on four. Okay, the fair way. <clears throat> so keeping some more bears, so I'm probably going to look to um, to keep in a couple more removal spells. So bring in these two. Like a Snapcaster Mage on the draw seems slow. 
if I'm cutting a Gurmag Angler, I can probably ship a Looting as well. And maybe I can bring in these two. I could just board out like one more Snapcaster and put a Dismember in. Or keep Faithless Looting in. Yeah, Snapcaster Mage does not seem that great. Seems a little slow. It's always hard to like create a plan against Storm because um Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think Serum Visions adds a lot to the deck. I think what Bed Freeman was doing was very good. Like I, th I think he improved the deck. And I think like Serum Visions is like the next slot up. Sixteen lands. You play bobbles and stuff. It's so difficult to create a good sideboard plan against this deck because it, it's very fluid. I don't think it's necessarily madness. I think it's I think it's very aggressive. Like you probably play like what three snaps, maybe two. I think this is what we're gonna do here. If you're playing bobbles and looting, like you can get away with some madness. The only thing that what sucks is that it limits your amount of keepable hands. The stat three snaps, yeah. I played I played like two thousand games with I played a lot with Jun Shadow. Like I played that deck for a long time. I'm gonna keep this hand. It could be a little slow, but it's kind of got interaction on one the graveyard, so. Bobble and Vision. That's a lot. A lot of games. This hand's borderline. I could see somebody mulliganing this hand. Because, like, you're not super explosive. You have some good disruption and then some... You know, like, you have two good pieces of disruption. All right, Bobble's going to help with the angler game. All right, so they have a land on top. We gotta take a bear here, pretty much guaranteed. Yeah, we're gonna take a bear. Because none of the other cards do anything. Oh, they just F6 their turn. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Alright, well, we're gonna try to get Angler in here. If we hit a fetch land, we're good. Yeah. Go team. This is going to get Blood Crypt. Um, I'm not playing any more uh, standard after this week here. Nameless. Or modern, excuse me. Yeah, that's, that's a bad, that's a pretty bad beat from the opponent there. Like, I just got Modoed, which is frustrating. Okay, so I'm going to attack. So let's sequence right here. Get in here. Then we'll cast Looting. Hopefully loot into a way to get, play our Death Shadow. Okay. So, we don't need this. We probably don't need this spell bomb. Our hand's pretty made. All right, and that's nice. That's even good for next turn. <clears throat> and this is a good matchup for Death Shadow, and to have your opponent stumble makes it even makes it like even worse. They play a bear. I'm just gonna stub the first spell they cast after it. Yeah, I think we just let this go. Like, I, I just don't see... Like, our clock's still the same. Like, this is two turns. This That thing's two turns, pending what we draw. And I just think that it get Like, there's so many ways that it just goes so bad if we stub, if we stub that. Okay.
All right, so I'm going to take this unsubstantiate. Yeah, see, this is why we didn't stub it. Take unsub, bolt this, crack for five, probably stub a pieces. And then Thoughtseize next turn. Okay, so they drew land. So they've opt. Okay, so we're just going to stub this. You, what's not necessary? Stubbing the pieces. We can find Battle Rage. I like it because at least it cuts them off from like doing, um, like it cuts their whole turn off. And it also, like, sometimes the piece of the puzzle fills the graveyard as well, which could just cause like some shenanigans for our opponent. And we're going to take the Manamorphose. They should not opt. Okay. And pass. I'm gonna feel bad if they hit something like uh, unsubstantiate. What do they do? They put that on the top. One, two. Pieces, okay. So they get pieces empty. And there's ah, uh, they're so they're dead. Yeah. All right, it's a good way to go with that league.